Delta 2023 election is brewing tension as the incumbent governor, Okowa, turns his back on his godfather. The intrigues surrounding the Delta 2023 elections took on a new dimension a few weeks ago when it became evident that Governor Ifai Okowa has a different agenda that doesn't align with his master, Chief James Ibori. The issue of who among two Ijo illustrious sons, Kingsley Otuaro and Senator James Manager, will eventually be handed the baton is still unresolved. But the election's frenzy has further split interested parties apart thanks to the ongoing turmoil within Delta Central, which has now left gaps within the People's Democratic Party, PDP, circle in the state. Last week, the Nigerian newspaper reported that James Sibori and the infamous former militant chief government equipment Polo, a.k.a. Tom Polo, were at odds over who would be the People's Democratic Party's flag bearer in the Delta 2023 election. Despite the fact that Ibori journeyed to the creeks to plead with Tom Polo to give his godson a chance, privileged intelligence at in Nigeria newspapers Disposer indicates that the latter refused all overshots and insisted on an Ijo candidate who falls somewhere between Otuaro and manager. Many people believe Governor Kowa cannot turn down his master Ibori for Tompolo at such a critical time, especially after everything the Odijigbegbo went through to install him in government has in 2015. But those claims may be far from reality if we are to go down memory lane. The election that produced Okowa was ascribed to fate. According to our top source newspaper, Fat Shakes, because there were significant indications that the then current governor Emmanuel Udwaga went against Ibori's wishes and endorsed late Tony Obu as his successor, but as fate would have it, Ibori used emotional blackmail to force Udwaga to dump Obu at the last minute. That decision did not come cheaply. It did not come without Tompolo and the company's strong financial backing. He reportedly opened his money vault to fund Okowa's campaign. That was when Okowa allegedly made a deal with Tom Polo to ensure that an Ijo candidate would be elected during the 2023 election. And in a previous report by our top source on the matter, it was revealed that the governor is keen to honor his promise to Mr. Government, a decision which happens to unsettle Ibori and those in his corner. The position remained unchanged as of the time of filing this report, indicating that only an Ijo candidate has a higher chance of winning the governorship seat in the upcoming election. But according to information available to this newspaper, an Ijo candidate alone without proper alignment will not solve the problem as there are whispers of possible betrayal if Isoko and Ishakiri are not properly represented with a seat at the table. And the reason is not far fetched. Our thought source reports that Okowa's preferred governorship candidate would be an Ijo with a deputy from Anyoma or a loyalist from Data Central Urobo Nation. Such an alliance could lead to a gang up between Ishakiri and Isoko, which may cost the PDP governorship opportunity in Data 2023 election. Via Saturn, what's your take? What's your reaction to this? A lot of, you know, 
uh, intrigues and uh, a lot of uh, alignment and realignment, you know, uh, taking place. And uh, as it is now, a lot of revelations has been made and, you know, Okowa and Tompolo agree on, you know, is your, uh, you know, governorship come, uh, you know, uh, these uh, general elections and uh, as it is, you know, the Odijigbo Igbo of Data State, Chief James on any February is not having, uh, you know, he eat on, on a, a, a tea, yes, bread and tea, he's not having it on that, but rather he's having it on the rock side, rock, having it so hard to break, you know, uh, you know, uh, break the rock because as it is, uh, Tom Polo, who, who happens to have, you know, reportedly found the primary uh, election of uh, uh, of of uh, uh, Governor Kowa regarding the PD primaries in the last governorship, uh, you know, uh, in the uh, uh, actually in the primary election that brought in Okowa in the first term, you know. Uh, they have allegedly signed a memorandum of understanding MOU that um, when Okowa will be leaving office, then uh, he will try his possible best to enthrone uh, an Ijo Nation, you know, candidate as uh, uh, as uh, the next governor of Delta State, and uh, uh, this does not go down well with uh, the former governor of Delta State who happens to be a boss to Okowa, but uh, Okowa as it is, you know, is not yielding to the to the call of uh, his boss, Chief James Onanefebori, and then uh, this will make things so difficult politically for Governor Okowa in the coming days, and uh, also too, uh, where the governorship will swingle or will be swingle to at the moment is unknown because and. Uh, uh, Apart from the PDP, we also have other parties like the APC and other uh, parties, you know, uh, on the on, on the stage. And uh, what's your take on this? Please uh, drop your reaction on the comment section. And uh, we are here to do justice uh, to your reactions uh, at the moment. Okay. Then uh, the first uh, reaction here at the moment is from uh, Obi One. He says. He says, Obi Wan says, uh, if PDP in Delta State fails to resolve the issue of allowing a candidate from Delta Central to be party flag bearer, then the robots would have no other options than to support any party, particularly the APC, if their flag bearer is from the Delta Central, and that would be the end of PDP in Delta State. Okay? All right, uh, my viewers, I told me that is it. Uh, this is the only comment we can take here because uh, time is never a friend. Ensure you subscribe to our channel, make this report very high, and spread this report to other news platforms. Uh, uh, thanks and God bless, and uh, bye for now. Do join us in the other news, please.